games. Those three games. Uh, but these teams will be no, learning about each other game. as they play. They obviously are very much mana burn a troll. He has 14 in. This is like the dumbest hero in Dota. And, you know, it doesn't really have that yeah, high yeah. of an impact. You're, you're offending Ogamajai by doing that. KP on bottom lane. A little bit of trouble. GH actually able to get that first crush off. The body blocking from the trees. My control! You said if he had even a small NCT, Miracle was already diving into the tower. Thanks to Nick's assassin rotating towards bottom. Miracle and Kuro were not being punished for their dive. Mind control, however, might, but GH in the neighborhood. They're gonna look for the double crush at GH. He'll connect a double kill for Mind Control and GH. He's trying to get in front of him, almost attempting to get just in the line of Kaka. After what he's already done, I think it's more uh it's a better economic choice for for Liquid to sacrifice mind control a little bit in this sense and then give the life stealer a better Bottom matchup against the bad Open wounds on bottom, going after KP. GH has the crush of double, waiting out a little bit longer. The maximum amount of control time on KP. The Firefly is cutting the trees and the but happy to walk through it. GH taking a lot of damage for this, but the kill, the fourth one. A bit more maybe can this match up, but you know. We only have real players in this grand final center. Yeah. Bottom lane, already Matumban going for another dive. KP has to take flight, but the open wounds are slowing down. GH is here. It's a secondary stun. That's all they want to hold him in position. KP will fall. And Team Liquid, apart from the top, him top maybe. Ugi able to TP out. Mind uh, farming up in the jungle, but mind controls up on this top lane. Refresh the T1 tower. Just like we saw previously, Mugi, he wants to run through on the coming up in the tower, here comes GH, it's the same gank, over and over again, the frostbite is nice, but then again the damage, Kaka can't turn for the stun, and the infest, he's inside the creep, popping back out, Mind Control will join the fight, Wrath of Nature damage has already been inflicted, as GH, he's got sprint off cooldown in two seconds time, so he the movement speed to catch up the fate, especially when Mind Control holds you in this round, he's looking for the stun on Mugi, Kuro just wants the ulti go, they may, and yes they do, they have enough damage to kill off Mugi, turning attention to more Faith! Faith! Falling for the second time! And towards KP, who actually can get sandwiched. That Observer Ward down once again. Two aggressive Observer Wards he would be in 10 minutes into this game. But it reveals KP's position perfectly. So the crush will come in. KP, he can fly and fly and get up the hill. I say he can, he doesn't have the movement speed. Turning on the spot, almost like he's the one getting sticky nade palmed up. And now it's 11 to 2. Yeah, but look, Kaka is scouting out. She's there under the cover of Vendetta. Where's your detection? Is a sentry board available for Kuro? But at least Kaka has this information. So here comes Nubi. You can blood right, you can find the control. Is Kuro getting caught out? As he sees he has the Buddha Blade. Doesn't want to burn it for just a lid. He wants a call, but he's not going to live long enough. But Tumbleman just arrives with so much damage. Even GH getting that follow up stun onto KP. Firefly is available. He's now going to burn it. Lasso's up to the double stun from Kaka, creating space. They're looking towards Slaughter. And the clipping is about to begin. GH unwillingly left on the hill. Where's the stun? Where's the control? GH just TP's out under the cover of Vault. Not too far away. He wants to stay in the fight, so he only went towards the shrine. Attack out of Hawk. Actually attacked in the creep, uh, creep vision. So, Miracle. That's the info, and I don't think. KP, five light up, Miracle's the opportunity. Oh, he yeah, did he did He did a blitz, he did get across, now the double stun is in there from Parker. Really catching Team Liquid on the back heels. Wrath Major bounces through, however, so at least they can get the leader back, but right now, two heroes down. Under the protect areas, at least the vision areas. Yeah. But in this room, can toggle sprint without breaking it? Oh, he's found a target. Slowly but steadily just blow up. Walked up. He doesn't have it. It's available, and it really is a blow up. That's even a nature's prophet ultimate connecting there from mind control. He's gonna get this on the way back. He's got the damage. Get ready for res, everybody. Kaka, nothing. Boom. Ton. Thirty-six people are now happier. Forty-one, I think. Oh, he got slightly happier as well. Okay, baby Kark is not so happy. Fades the bottom lane. Mind control just stalking this poor crystal mate. The fight. Get their better Radiant's items before Team Liquid come high ground. That's what they have to look for. But Liquid are just always together now. Five heroes, one invest inside the slaughter. Nick's assassin gets a good vision. And for a miracle, mind control more visible. Darker needs a good opening, but they've already lost KP. So the opening is gone. The blink last zone, and then Kark is on the back line with the PSP. So the opening is gone. The blink last zone, and then Kark is on the back line, but the best way Newbie could have begun this fight, but it's too late now. As Liquid fans down this bottom lane. No agency ball and miracle, but the BKB is ready to be popped. 100 gold for Radiance. He got it there. That's not great. He's gonna buy that and send it out to himself. 
waiting. He's holding on to his five back next assassin. He's the one that initiated on Spike Harris. Creates a little bit more space. Can't get the stun. The Laguna Blade does pop the spot. So his amplification is gone. The target. Pick him off straight away. They want to be miracles. So that BKB never comes into play. Smoke. Oh, Nyx Assassin. Again, great vision up from him. He'll come underneath the Dias Entry Ward. And I'll see. Oh, the he the strike. And now the jump in. He is very hard. Slada so low. He will fall the lasso. They're pushing the troll wall on, up on the cliff. KP successful with that. The vision Laguna Blade is available. They're saving it. They don't need it to get this kill on the troll wall on. And now the team Liquid on the run. GH is arriving and so is they just profit. In first up, they're going in one spot. Blink looking for the cross. The frost light. Perfect coming from face. Creating space. And it's still the troll wall on down. The courier is the only thing for the radiant side to die until fate then follows it into the grave. They steal up. They've got to keep that detection up. Sentry ward is down. The glimmer cape of Koro really causing problems for Nubi to commit with these detection items. The Matumaman. Oh no, the Lincoln Sphere. He had it up. KP blinked it. He was looking for the last one. Last one doesn't need to trigger the Lincoln Sphere. And now it's all heroes down. I don't know if Nubi can really repel this. They may even lose off two lanes of Frax. Liquid showed the lower bracket matchup. That they would hold their advantage, they would keep the split push going and bleed Doobie dry. Instead, Doobie tap out and pushes into game two. So, this is where we're going to need to see how the teams adapt. They tried to counterpick this Nature's Prophet with two heroes.